Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Amanda. I make mummy lifestyle vlogs and like tips and tricks and vlogs and family days out, all that kind of stuff. So that's the sort of thing that interests you, then stick around. I'd love you to subscribe and follow our journey with us. Today, I thought I would share with you how I have quit tidying up all day. I hate tidying. I think most people hate tidying, don't they? It's just like moving things around, putting things back where they're supposed to go. And so, a bit of a backstory. When my girls are about three or so, you know, when they're really active and mobile and like to play with lots of toys, it seemed to me like their favourite thing to do was to just relocate toys from their lovely playroom that they've got into another room in the house and just dump toys in another room. And this could entertain them for hours. Like they would take all of their food toys from their kitchen in a big tub, they'd put them all into a tub and then they'd take them into the lounge, dump them in the lounge, lay them all out and then leave them and move on and then they go and get like a big bag of bricks and take them from a different replant in the house and move it to a different room in the house, tip those out, play with them for a bit, then go and find something else to do. And so by the end of the day, you just had stuff everywhere, under stuff, in stuff, every room in the house, every floor in the house, you seem to find toys. And it just was giving me quite a lot of anxiety. And I used to spend those days kind of just following them around and moving things back and they felt like they were too young to do it themselves so I was doing it and just was moving things around constantly all day and you get to the end of the day and all you've done is tidy all day you've achieved absolutely nothing and just you've maybe got a relatively tidy house at the end of the day but you've done nothing else and it's so frustrating so when the girls got to about three, I decided I wanted to make a change. What was I going to do? How was I going to change this? And I decided we were going to try and implement tidy up time. And this took as much training for me as it did for the kids because getting a three-year-old to tidy up, just get them to tidy up. It's simple, you know, just get them to put their toys away. Nice and easy. The, the speed a three-year-old puts toys away is glacial. <laughs> so slow. It takes everything you have to not just do it, to tidy up a pile of toys that you probably could tidy up in seconds, minutes maybe, could take them 20 minutes. And so it is incredibly hard to stop yourself from doing it and get them to do it. And at first you do need to micromanage them and tell them exactly where things need to go and how things need to be put away and so it takes a lot longer but what we decided to do was we were going to have a tidy up time at the end of the day and we were all going to do it together and the plan was we could train them so that as they got older we would be able to just say go and tidy up and they would be able to tidy up entire rooms and put everything away without us needing to to be there and do it with them. And that's kind of the stage we're at now. So our girls are six and we can now say, go and tidy the playroom and voila, the playroom is gonna be tidy. And they know where things go and it has been worth it. But it has been a couple of years of lots and lots of badgering and training. So I thought I'd share with you a few ways that we kind of trained them and showed them how to, um, put things away and get them to be independent at tidying up so that I don't have to do it all day. So the first thing was to choose a very specific time that that is gonna be tidy up time. Initially we had it after dinner. So um, while one of us was washing up and tidying up the dinner things, the other one, so like if I was washing up, Stu would do tidy up time or if I was washing up, he would do, if he, you know what I mean. Um, and we would like, so we would do it at that time. We've now found it, if we can, we try and do it before dinner, but we definitely do it before we go up for bed. So we have a set time every day that we do tidy up time. And what we do is we kind of sweep the house. So the first job is, I try as hard as I can, and, I very, and even now I very rarely need to get involved, but I might stand in the lounge and go, that, 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 they all need to go back into the playroom, that needs to go to the kitchen, that needs, I might kind of delegate a few things to help you where things need to go. And um, we try and like send the children, we used to send the girls back and forth, back and forth from the lounge, from their bedroom, from upstairs, the spare room, like our bedroom, there'd be stuff everywhere. And they would just literally be running around the house for 10 minutes, just grabbing stuff and bringing it and dumping it in the playroom. If you don't have a playroom, just bringing it and putting it wherever the toys live. Um, 
and that was our first job and then the second thing we used to do was we would then all descend on the playroom and start tidying up and again in the early days I had to get them to do very specific jobs so it might be Emily would be doing the dressing up box and I'd be like here is the yellow box Emily this is the dressing up box you need to put all of these and I would do one and then she would do one and I would do and we would I would show her how to do it and Jessica might have um, the food things and we might have two baskets of food things one for like the actual food bits and one for like the plates and cups and things that they used and again I'd show her these go into this basket these go into this basket and I would show how to do it and then she would do that and then I'd go back to Emily and we'd carry on and then I'd go back to Jessica and you would just go back and forwards back and forwards until everything was done and then you'd move on to the next task so that's what we used to do to try and get them. And one thing that we found that also really helped was to label where things went. So um, I have done a whole video about how I organised the playroom and like how I put things in different baskets. We have quite recently labelled these units and labelled other places in the playroom where different bits go. And it just makes it really easy to grab a tub and say like this is musical instruments and they can chuck all the musical instruments in and put it back into the same spot that's labelled musical instruments. Um, so labelling it we have found definitely does help as well. The last thing we do is we have certain toys that I might call like the big toys or the messy toys that have lots and lots of little bits. So for example we have a big happy land set, we have a big um, Playmobil set that's all kind of bagged up as one set and so if the girls want to get toys like that out we've kind of made it a rule now that they can if there is a clear floor in a room so the playroom floor would need to be clear and they can then get it out and if they then wanted to then get another of that set out they would have to then put that set away and get out the next set so we trying to avoid those all those little bits getting mixed up by allowing them to play with the sets and then putting the sets away and then getting a new set out and off if they want to play with different sets they just need to have them in different rooms which is how we've worked it so far but that's worked quite well at first I did think this was going to be a case where I would then have to live with a house in complete chaos all day but it didn't actually feel like that and I think once you accept the fact that there is going to be a big tidy up at the end of the day and everyone can do it and when you realise that actually at the end of the day when everyone pitches in you probably can do it in about 15 minutes it does seem silly to waste your day just chipping away at it all the time with the tidying and so I've now kind of, I try and have my blinkers on to the tidying and just make sure I know that at the end of the day, if it's like really messy, we'll start a little bit earlier, but that we're all gonna work together and get it done and tidy. And now the girls are at school as well. It's generally only weekends or days off and holidays where it gets really messy. They don't really have enough time in the morning or after school, but even then, they if they do get stuff out, we still have tidy up time, we still put everything away so that at bedtime when we go up to bed, we know that our house is tidy. Might not be pristine, everything might not be exactly where it's supposed to be, but like the majority of the stuff is where it's supposed to be. Things are in the right rooms and the toy room is organized and they know where all the toys are so that next time they wanna play with them, they know where to go and find them. So that's how I quit tidying up. I hope you found this interesting. I hope you find it helpful. Um, if you have, I'd love you to give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time for more videos coming your way soon. Bye!